Hello, my name is Sofia Cruz. Hi, my name is Ileana Rodriguez. And our research was on the effect of aloe vera edible gel coating on bananas. So for our study, we used the Musa Acuminata Cavendish, which is a scientific name for bananas. Uh, these are the type of bananas I usually see in the grocery stores very often. And for our study, they are the dependent variable. And bananas are known for their essential nutrients and vitamins. And when you're eating a banana, you usually um, want to eat it two to three days after you buy them. Uh, because you don't want them to be too yellow or too spoiled already since they do tend to spoil very quickly. For our coating, we chose aloe bar ban bananas miller. Uh, we chose aloe vera because it is known for its remedial characteristics and benefiting physical and mental wealth. Aloe vera has been used as an edible coating gel to enhance shelf life in a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. The treatment of aloe vera coating is the independent variable. So for the research questions, um, we did notice when we're doing um, our research on other, on other articles, uh, using the aloe vera edible gel coating with other fruits such as strawberries, um, grapes, and tomatoes. Um, we did notice that they didn't really quite you well, we didn't find a lot on bananas. So therefore that's why our research question is how efficient is aloe vera edible gel coating in increasing the shelf life of bananas. For our methods, the coating will be composed of aloe vera gel. The aloe vera will be derived by slicing and sleep and separating the rind from the inner gel. Once the batch of coating is created, it is then placed on the peel of only five bananas and the other five bananas are uncoated. The uncoated bananas will be our controlled group. After coating the separate groups are transferred on a tray and placed in the room temperature location. The study's period, time period depends on how long both groups of bananas go to waste. Throughout the experiments, psychochemical properties such as weight loss, color, firmness, and decay are being recorded. The aloe vera coating was made by slicing each leaf and separating the rind from the inner leaf gel. We will be comparing the properties as, as well without aloe vera. These are all our references that we used for this research. These are our acknowledgements, and we would like to give a special thanks to Ms. Solis, Luisa Villarreal, Dr. Nora Garza, Mrs. Aguero Riojas, Mrs. Gabriela Solis Cavazos, and the Hispanic Serving Institute Title III STEM.